Well, I decided while I had the um, graphic of, of my house uh, top-down view from the satellite, I'd try to figure out, okay, what what a, what direction is my uh, panels really facing? I mean, I could go out and measure it, uh, but in that case, you need a compass, and you have to offset for some variation due to the magnetic fields. It's a little easier to do it this way. So I grabbed that photo, then I went out on the Internet and found a, an, a uh, just a, a graphic of a compass, uh, or a, you know, like a protractor, and overlaid that on the graphic, and then I can uh, kind of shadow it out a little bit, and I uh, can position it. So I just looking at the position, I decided I could position it at the corner of my sidewalk because the, my shadow line of the house is I got a couple different pitch angles, so that wasn't really good a good straight line. So using the sidewalk here, which is parallel with the front of my house and it equals with the, my panels that that would be a good spot so looking at this uh, compass rows I can then uh, figure out okay what direct direction does my sidewalk angle that the pace it's at 115 degrees and my house faces 90 degrees from that so that's got to be 205 degrees so my panels are sitting at 205 degrees. So now I went back to the PV Watts uh, page and uh, my default was my latitude which is pretty close to where I have my panel set about a 45 degree latitude setting and uh, the default was 180 degrees well, well I just determined that no I don't have my panels at 180 I have them at 205 so I'm going to enter 205 and let's see what that has on the uh, impact of the fixed tilt. We're going to calculate it. And it says 1190. Now, I don't know if you remember, but the original uh, amount when I had uh, the default, it said 1224. So I by not having it perfectly facing south, I am not. I am losing a little bit. I'm lo uh, on the course of a year. I'm losing 34 kilowatt hours. So not too terribly bad, being slightly off center, all things considered. But just something to show you <coughs> that uh, you can do in your particular case. Now I can also go back. And let's just say, for sake of discussion, I drop the. I'm off by. I'm going to take. I'm going to take. Uh, drop that 45 degrees down to, let's say, 40 degrees. And now, uh, and I'll get the fact to. Uh, well, we'll leave it at that. And then do a calculate. I think uh, last time we had 1190. And now we're 1198. So you can tell that the angle is not very critical. You can be off by five degrees and really have a very minor impact. Let me go up to 50, calculate it, and it'll probably be very similar. It'll be five degrees the other way. Well, we lost a little bit more going a little more uh, vertical. But that's you know what you could do is play with that number to find out for your particular latitude where you'll get the best overall results you might uh, decide that even though the bottom number might be not perfect you might be targeting you know maybe your better months trying to get some of your better months or maybe you're trying to offset your uh, AC use to get that to be a little higher numbers than than uh, some of the other months so anyway just thought I'd show you that Back on the NOAA solar calculator page, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the, a link here that's called Calculation Details. Click on that. brings you up to uh, a site or a page that you can open up on a couple of different spreadsheets. One is for the day, if you are really wanting to know exactly the details of where the sun is, on a particular day this spreadsheet will give you everything you wanted to know. The more useful one I think for most of us is this year 
spreadsheet. If you click on that, it'll open up uh, in your um, spreadsheet program the uh, daily uh, information about the location of the sun, including the sunrise and the sunset. So let's take a look at that. Okay, I have the spreadsheet opened up for the year information, which basically is data for each day of the year. So the first thing you want to do is enter your latitude, longitude, time zone relative to Greenwich Mean Time. You can enter the local time if you like, it's not that important. The uh, And the year, and it will calculate a lot of things. And I'll just scroll across, you can see lots of data about the position of the sun and the earth based on different uh, metrics. I highlighted a few that are kind of most important to us. The primary one is the sunrise and sunset. And uh, I did uh, go look at the one for uh, my area for March, or excuse me, for October 18th, which is today, and it said sunrise is supposed to rise at 7.32, and that's exactly what it says on uh, weather.com. So I know the calculation is correct. So we'll go back up here. And uh, so here, you know, so here's the data. If you don't have the data for sunrise, sunset, for your particular location, which is kind of important to know if you're interested in how many exact uh, minutes that per day and when the sun is going to come up and down to set up a tracker if you're going to do that. The other is, you know, where is the sun going to be in the sky? Uh, at basically at sunrise. So here is the number, what's called the right ascension angle, which is from an astronomical perspective basically equivalent to the azimuth number I had on the prior uh, video. And the other number is the declination, which is the degrees below your latitude of where the sun actually is. So in my case, if my normal latitude here is around 45, as you see here, 45, the sun is actually going to be about 22 degrees below that in the sky, which is what you'd expect in the January time frame. If I scroll down to the equinox, which is March 21st, that's where the sun declination angle matches the 45 that I have here. So this is everybody's latitude will line up right at the, each of the equinoxes. So that's where that crosses over. So as you'd expect through the winter, the sun is lower in the sky, and that's what that sun declination angle in, in, indicates. And then <coughs> the right ascension as you could tell, as we're getting closer to summer, the sun rises more north, so it's at a less of an angle from north. And at on the equinox, it's right at 90 degrees, just like we talked about in the last video. So anyway, this spreadsheet's pretty handy. You probably just need to download it once, print out the tables, and you'll be all set. Hope you found that handy.